சுபோதயம் ஸ்வாகத்தம் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் ஃபார் டே சிக்ஸ்டீன்த் கிளப் டூ ஸ்போக்கன் இங்கிலீஷ் சீரீஸ் நேனு இஸ்மாயில் மரி ஈ லைவ் இன்ட்ராக்டிவ் வெப்னா வெப்னார் சீரீஸ்லோ விச் விச் இஸ் ஸ்ட்ரீமிங் ஆன் யூடியூப் அண்ட் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஃபேஸ்புக் ஐ ஒன்ஸ் அகெயின் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் அண்ட் லெட் அஸ் சி ஃபார் டுடேஸ் டாபிக் தட் இஸ் கிளாஸ் ரூம் ட்ரான்ஸ் ட்ரான்சாக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சாம்பிள் இங்கிலீஷ் மரி ஈரோஜு ரிசர்ச் பர்சன்கா மந்தூ உன்னாரு ஐ வெல்கம் டாக்டர் கே என் ஷோபா ஃப்ரம் சென்னை ஐ ஆல்சோ வெல்கம் மிஸ் வி மாதவி எஸ்ஜி டீச்சர் எம்பியூபி வெங்கடகிரி ராஜமண்டி ஸோ வெல்கம் யூ மேம் வித் அஸ் போக்ரி ஸ்ரீனிவாஸ் காரு ஆல்சோ வித் அஸ் ஐ வெல்கம் டு ஸ்ரீனிவாஸ் சார் ஃப்ரம் மை சிஆர்டி குட் மார்னிங் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ மரி ஐ ரிக்வெஸ்ட் போக்ரி ஸ்ரீனிவாஸ் காரு டு ஃபார்மல்லி இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் அவர் ரிசோர்ஸ் பர்சன்ஸ் to the viewers yeah yeah thank you uh, welcome andhra pradesh today we are here topic and uh, our uh, shobha madam is also there with us and uh, madhavi madam so uh, just to want to tell about uh, our uh, presenter today uh, shobha kn is an assistant professor of english anna university chennai and she has a phd in english and is a gold medalist in master in education a teacher a research and a teacher educator she leads educational projects both online and offline Uh, related to language research and uh, pedagogy for state governments uh, and the british council and a reputed training organization so such a versatile genius and a reputed uh, resource person is with us uh, ma'am i welcome you to the session with, along with your team thank you thank you sir uh, shubhodayam andhra pradesh welcome to all the teachers of andhra pradesh i am very glad to be along with you this morning and uh, it is indeed of both ishmael sir and shrinivas sir mentioned i agree that lot of learning has been happening uh, but i also hope you remember how it is well to use it to use everything that you are learning uh, we have been looking at various language functions that are very important in spoken english how you can transact with teachers we have been looking at a number of functions of language starting from introducing questioning expressing our opinions various language functions we have been using and i also hope you are going through the reading materials and taking all the assessments we are very glad to be with you again and today we are going to look at a topic which is called classroom transaction now before going into the topic i was just looking at all the youtube chat that you have entered and most of you had said stay home stay safe but keep learning english that is such a boost to people like me because when i see such messages you know i become extra enthusiastic and uh, i always think i should deliver more for the teachers who are uh, looking up to resource persons like us uh, so thank you for all your support uh, let's move on with the topic i will share my screen now i hope my screen is visible now to all of you yes ma'am yes so all said and done as teachers the main purpose where we are going to use the spoken english that we are learning today this whole month is for classroom transaction because classroom is our fort what do i mean by fort you know we are the kings and queens in our classroom all the students are looking up to us they are waiting to see what we are going to tell them today they are waiting to see what secrets we have brought in our books and bags today so as teachers the moment we enter our classrooms we become a totally different personality and we use all our knowledge all our skills in order to transact or give the best to our learners this is how learners also remember us the kinds of stories we tell them the jokes we tell them we might think it is not very significant but if you see our students will remember the stories the jokes the way we smiled at them all these things they are going to remember even after years more than our lessons so how do we make our lessons more interesting for them especially in the english classroom especially while teaching an english lesson so what we will be doing today is looking at the aspects of a lesson how a lesson can be very effectively delivered when it comes to the english subject okay moving on 
this is one of my favorite quotes i always believe that the most valuable lessons aren't taught but they are experienced life teaches us many lessons every time if we are learning something and say for example we fail we always say okay i did not succeed very good lesson learned now i know how not to do it that is why i always believe that the most valuable lessons aren't taught but they are experienced so how are we going to do the same for our learners in the classroom our learners are so young they might not know some concepts before we tell them they don't know how to be in a truth and a lie so only when we explain all these ideas they will be understanding the whole concept so with this in mind let us move forward and with the word experience i want you to remember the previous sessions that i did you know what john piaget said we learned about piaget we learned about vygotsky we learned about bruner how they said children learn by doing you know in the concept of understanding young learners in that particular webinar series we were looking at how they are more tactile they want to touch they want to understand things that is why i have used the word experienced again and the scaffolding that we are going to give them scaffolding i hope you all remember the picture of men standing on the metallic frames on a building and trying to build it so how can we scaffold our learners when it comes to lesson so here is the plan for our session now i have only four things to tell you so first concept we will see what is actually a lesson you know when we say lesson it is a daily word for teachers which lesson are we doing now how many lessons yet to be completed this lesson is easy this lesson is difficult so as teachers the word lesson is oxygen for us and the second point that we are going to see will be structure of a lesson so when we talk about a lesson is there a particular structure of a lesson sometimes the textbook offers a particular structure of a lesson but some of us will start from a different page of the textbook now say for example if this lesson starts on page number 4 some teachers we have a habit of starting from page 10 of the same lesson then we go to page 6 then we go to 4 and come back sometimes we follow a linear format so what is the actual structure of a lesson so when we know the structure of a lesson in class to deliver lesson a lesson comes to life only when it is delivered it cannot be alive when it is on the pages of the textbook only a teacher gives life to a lesson in the classroom so we are going to see a few aspects about classroom delivery of an english lesson and the last one that we will be looking at is language functions for the delivery of a lesson so as teachers when we are going to deliver a lesson we will try and see how the language functions can be delivered so these are going to be the four important sections when it comes to delivering a lesson moving on what is a lesson a lesson or a class is a structured period of time where learning is intended to occur of course when we are talking about a lesson the first thing that comes to our mind is a period so all of us have you know usually the 45 minute or the 50 minute some of us have a 55 minute period it is a structured period and what is the whole idea of that period learning is intended to occur sometimes i feel as teachers we feel that teaching is intended to occur right so we are moving from teacher centered classrooms to learner centered classroom and from learner centered classroom we are moving more towards learning centered classrooms so when i say learning centered classrooms when you're delivering a lesson we should make sure that learning is happening so a lesson can also be understood as a plan of action all of us have teachers handbooks we are looking at the plan that how you know a lesson proceeds and what is the goal the goal has to be to teach somebody something this is very important and the last lesson is 
an english lesson aims to teach the thai language through various means what do i mean by target language now especially in the english classroom if you see what is the main aim to teach them the target language now say for example if it is a maths classroom we can try and say that the whole concept of addition or subtraction or numbers have to be taught to the children but when it comes to an english classroom the target is going to be teaching the language teaching the target language so every day when you are going into the english classroom it is important that you choose one particular language function or one particular story and then focus on that and keep that as the target okay today have my learn have my learners understood what it means to learn the verbs action verbs action words or am i going to teach the prepositions in uh, of so am i going to select some prepositions and teach them am i going to do it through a story through a game so the target should be very clear in mind and we should be able to deliver it that way that is a lesson a lesson is not reading the story answering the questions doing the exercises and writing it three or four times i hope you agree with me all of us have different ideas about lessons but then this is the general accepted structure so usually when i say a lesson all of you know that a lesson contains lots of pictures the moment we talk about a primary classroom we all are very excited about pictures i know that in the face sheet we use a very elaborate picture as a trigger in order to elicit lot of vocabulary elicit meaning draw we are drawing out we are drawing out from the children interestingly the word education education also comes from a latin word which means to draw out e is the prefix which means to draw out like exit so now what happens is duct meanings you know something that pulls out or that draws out so education also has the word to draw out so the pictures are used to draw out the previous knowledge whatever has uh, you know the child learned earlier this is called validating the child's knowledge if we ask a child okay today we are going to learn about uh, village fairs so in a fair what are the things that you can see the village school master you know you remember the school master's face because our teachers explained very clearly the characters are very important the activities that are surrounding the lesson activities tpr tpr all of you know total physical response and then what are the questions the questions that you ask and the questions that student ask in every activity that you plan please keep some space for children to ask questions okay usually teachers ask questions but then we should also give them to ask questions and then the exercises now definitely exercises are very important because they drill they also give you the chance to practice and all of us know that practice makes perfect so exercises are also important but then you should understand the base the foundation that is underpinning all these activities whether it is picture whether it is a story character activities questions or exercise you should try and do language input so language input should happen and because this is english language classroom we have to focus on language input of english through these activities i hope you agree with me on these points now when i used to think about a lesson i used to think a lesson is like a window the moment you peep out of the window you see so many things now imagine when we take our children in train they always fight for the window seat whether it is a bus or a train why do you think that happens they want to see the outside world they are very curious uh, you know when we become old whenever i get into the bus i let my son take the window seat and i just you know we stop Uh, watching and we close our eyes but children are not like that sometimes my son used to be awake the whole night trying to watch outside you know what is outside i used to tell him just close your eyes and sleep but then he would be saying amma i want to see outside what is outside a lesson is also like that 
children are very curious to see what is happening to their characters when you look at uh, ruskin bond when you read his characters children want to know oh what happened to that monkey what happened to that old man boy rusty right so a lesson is like a window for children and then a launch pad what do i mean by launch pad now say for example you know the when a rocket is launched what is more important than the rocket itself is the energy that the foundation part has only based on all that energy and the foundation part the rocket will be able you know the rocket can launch off properly so a lesson is also like that a lesson can be seen as a 10 page or a 12 page text material but what do teachers do with that material is more important okay and also a lesson is like a journey when you move from one place to another when you move from one section to the other lesson is like a journey so now i want you to enter in the chat box can you think of some other words to give a metaphor for lesson it can be a window it can be a launch pad it can be a journey you know what else can you think of now one more example uh, is a lesson is also like a movie right a movie has a very interesting beginning if there is no interesting beginning we don't want to watch it a lot of characters are there you want to know what happened and then there is so much analysis based on the movie we like the songs we do so many things so you are going to enter in the chat box now and just going to check what are the interesting answers that are coming based on a lesson so a lesson is like what please enter into the chat box i'm giving you 30 seconds to do it i can see many of you are entering the answers give me one word to explain the idea of a lesson i told you it might sound like a window it might uh, sound like a launch pad so try and see you know what are the other words that can be used for a lesson yes answers are coming in so so many answers have come in so many of you think a lesson is also like a plant a lesson is like a human being okay yes i agree to all your answers so for each teacher a lesson speaks in a different way that is why it is very important to understand what a lesson is now coming to the structure of a lesson definitely it is very important to see the opening how a lesson begins and sequencing how a lesson is divided into the segments and how the segments relate to each other now when you are watching a movie or cafe you are seeing i think you are seeing you know that was not very logical similarly when you are also doing a lesson you should be very careful you must see whether there is logical sequence and then pacing sometimes some lessons require lot of time so pacing refers to the speed speed with which you proceed and then the closure how you actually bring to an end all these aspects are very important how you open the lesson with a lot of surprise with a lot of interest and then how also to you know uh, sequence pace and then how you close the lesson these are all very important points when it comes to delivering a lesson so begin a lesson with a short review of the previous and prerequisite learning also begin it with a short statement of goals present new materials in very small steps with student practice and then give detailed instructions and explanations provide a high level of active practice for all students ask a large number of questions check for student understanding and obtain responses from all students these are all some tips for you to follow the structure of a lesson now classroom delivery of a lesson we have moved to the second section uh, third section actually 
keep in mind the learning styles of your students this is very important we have studied about a multiple intelligence theory we have seen how some students uh, focus more on the visual material some students are very comfortable with reading and writing some students you know they want to listen but some want to do tactile we saw about the multiple intelligence theory so you have to keep in mind the learning styles of your learners and create activity based on that choose and mix a variety of learning methods okay you never know you know sometimes when we are doing one song children get so excited they are auditory learners and then simple to complex start with very simple complex then you can move on to complex ideas also move from the known to the unknown and familiar to i am sure that you already know all these concepts i am just reminding you now what happens when you are prep the language functions in lesson function so the first part is before the lesson what happens beginning the lesson the third part is reading fourth part is question and activities and the last one is the ending of the lesson you can see that i have put reading bang on in the center because i always believe that reading a lesson in the classroom is a very good opportunity to enjoy the language. okay so let us always keep that in mind so definitely before the lesson we do you know we say how are you when we enter the classroom and then one small hook what do i mean by hook when you want to pull the children's attention when you want to catch a fish what do you do you put a hook with a small uh, worm or some insect right so like that we should put a hook to the children now suddenly when you take puppets out of the bag or when you are taking a ball all of them are getting excited so do you have any hook for the particular lesson and then story song picture thing of vocabulary i have seen many teachers put all the important words on the blackboard they put it on the blackboard and then they say these are the words we are going to use so the setting of the stage is ready now before the lesson starts beginning the lesson so usually what do we say beginning the lesson we say okay children let's start the lesson now then we say uh, turn to page 12 look at your textbook look at the back blackboard look at page 14 so these are some small language functions that we will be using when we are begin the lesson mostly you know these are all our regular uh, usage phrases you can please note it down and now comes bilingual instructions this is something you know we definitely have to do as teacher as now that we are moving into a different uh, uh, medium of instruction and when children are going to come back to our classrooms having mentally and psychologically recovered from all this trauma i think we have to be extremely friendly and understanding to our children and our instructions are going to be like this we are going to speak in english we are going to speak in telugu and then we are going to speak in english again like say for example uh, first you have to you know say the greetings whatever you want some questions why are you standing sit down all this in english then you should use telugu okay so telugu lo cheppandi or what the child has to do um, you know if you want to scooch or like whatever you want to tell the child uh, to do you can use lot of telugu and english tarvata english lo cheppandi so you have to speak in english also i think when we do this kind of a sandwich combination okay when we are eating sandwich you know that on the top there is bread and on the bottom also there is bread but what is in between in between is the most important uh, stuff right like that use your mother tongue so the children get everything inside the body so you are going to use english then children will learn they will be learning some words but very you know not very fully they will learn but the moment you tell it in telugu they will be ready to accept oh madam is telling this sir is telling this then when you say it again in english there is lot of reinforcement i know that this is a very simple concept but always remember this is the only helpful concept that we can use in our classrooms so here is a teacher who is trying to do loud reading so some words that we usually say is please listen carefully students after me read this out loud 
what is the english word for or what is the telugu word for you can try and ask all these questions in your class how do you say it in english when you ask these questions you know when you use these phrases children will you know it will get inside their head they will think okay madam is saying repeat that means we should say so use these phrases very often so that we can gradually bring in the change so you can see in the picture a very young teacher trying to teach and you know the little boy is holding a big book that's a lovely sight to see i cannot do all this in my university classrooms you know because students come to the classroom with laptops we don't have such big books also okay moving on i have given you some set of questions uh, you can refer to this later also if you are going to ask some questions and you know uh, ask them to try and say something these are all some of the things that you can say you can ask them i am just leaving it open i am not going to read everything i am sure you are going to come back to the video again and read it whenever you have the time when you are ending the lesson here are some of the phrases that you can use so in classroom transaction of lessons it's very important to focus on the idea of the lesson itself and how the lesson is going to be delivered and also the language functions like i told you you are going to do it bilingually or multilingually also now i understand that in all the border uh, uh, districts you have many languages that are being spoken so try and understand and be very friendly to all the children and you can use all these uh, um, phrases in order to end your lesson okay now we are going to have a sample classroom transaction uh, we have with us a very versatile teacher a very interesting uh, uh, teacher who is going to help us with a classroom transaction of a sample english lesson i would love to do this uh, uh, sample english lessons but you know that i am learning telugu konjam konjam so it is little bit difficult for me to do at this stage so i have invited um, miss madhavi a very good teacher who will help us understand how we can do the classroom transaction of this particular english lesson okay i'm going to stop uh, i'm going to stop sharing my screen now i can see that uh, one teacher called bhaskar sir has said there are many slow learners in the class and, um, why shouldn't the teacher follow his or her own method this is an excellent comment and a question because i think definitely as teachers we have our own strengths now as you can see when several of us come as resource persons on these webinars you know that all of us are not doing it in the same way all of us have a different style of delivery and these are all our own educational philosophies we believe that it will be best if our learners are going to learn it this way so i also agree with the teacher bhaskar garu that it is definitely whether it is the slow learners or you know the um, fast learners if you have a different term like that which you actually don't have but then it is the teacher the teacher is at complete freedom to pick and choose whatever works in his or her classroom but it is always better that the teacher knows what all you know options are available if the teacher knows the various methods i believe that the teacher is in a better position to choose the best method to work in the classroom so thank you for uh, that particular question how can we drag children attention from activity story book to listening the uh, lesson mode there is no need to drag the children's attention i think uh, the teacher's presence itself becomes very interesting you know to create a lot of attention in the classroom when you show a picture or you know when you are telling a story or when you make a sound uh, even in my training sessions when i go uh, i create i carry a bell or something so you know we do so many tricks and techniques for getting students uh, uh, attention but you have a very good point uh, uh mahesh reddy garu you are talking about how to get their attention to listen to the lesson now this is a very important skill for all children they have to listen if they are not listening to the lesson then you know the language input also might not happen so uh, we have to use various methods where we will try and drag the children's attention uh, yes madhavi ma'am are you yes, ready yes, yes please i'll share my screen yes please 
Yes, fantastic. Yes. The classroom transaction is on uh, class three, unit number one. The name of the lesson is Tenali Rama and the Thieves, subject English. So in this short session, objectives are to understand the importance of pre-reading activity and recommended procedure to be followed for reading and possible discourses for post-reading. Here is the insightful quote by Benjamin Franklin. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. We know that when we tell something to our children, they may forget after some days or some time. When we teach something to our children, they may remember for some days. When we involve our children, they experience with the concepts and the real learning will happen. Here is a small activity. So in network distractions, so sorry for the inconvenience. So manami COVID law so a funny questions for you. Please respond and try to answer in the chat box. So what is the most used emoji in our conversations? And what is the new learning during lockdown? Who is your favorite music director or singer? And what is most used up in your mobile? Please type your answers in the chat box. I'll just wait for a few seconds. Yes, thumbs up. Smiley. What is the new learning during lockdown? Smiley hygiene conditions. Yoga practice, Ravikiran sir. Priya ma'am, webinars. So favorite music director is Devi Shri Prasad for Triveni ma'am. Srijaya ma'am, YouTube and online classes, spoken English webinars by Subalakshmi Sakkari. Thank you for your responses. Just for cheer up, I ask these questions. So move on to the next slide. Here are some warm up tips for our children. When we ask uh, some funny questions like riddles or tongue twisters, we'll uh, make our children to grab the attention towards us. What did one I say to the other? Between us, something smells. Here are some more uh, questions like that. Uh, what does two legs but cannot walk? A pair of pants. And what are the two things that you cannot have the breakfast? Lunch or dinner? So, pillal chala churuga i prasen lak samadhan alistaru. So, idi pillal lak interest create chedan ko pyo bortai learn to warm up activities. And either trunk tongue twisters also. So, we know that. Uh, in the coming new textbooks for three, four, five classes, the organization of components will be like this. So, pre-reading part, reading part, and the post-reading part. So, coming to the pre-reading part, we have face sheet and the oral questions followed by. So, coming to the reading part, we have the main text and uh, followed by the glossary and the comprehension-based questions uh, related to the main text. So, coming to the pre-reading, post-reading part, so we have the activities related to vocabulary, grammar, and conventions of writing and writing practices, and listening and speaking activities followed by. So this is the organization of components in coming new textbooks for three, four, five classes. So I'll, uh, I'll give a, a small demo by using the, these finger puppets. We'll requesting you all for act as a children for some time. Please don't mind. Good morning, children. How are you all? Have you enjoyed the holidays? So, under COVID law, Jagratana, so in law, Chepinwal Mata, Chepinwat Vintunara. So, okay. In today's class, 
two friends came here to invite you all for an occasion. Would you like to meet them? Okay, let us welcome them. Children, please introduce yourself to my class. Dear friends, my name is Raju. I'm studying third class in MPP school, Kottapalli. Hello, dear friends. My name is Radha. I'm studying third class in the same school, MPP school, Kottapalli. We came here to invite you all for an occasion. We want you all to be there with us in the play Tenali Rama and the Thieves on August 3rd at 10 a.m. at my school. So we know that you will not disappoint us. So we will not disappoint us. So, Malli Ochi Mito Adkuntam. Bye. Bye. Say bye to Raju Radha Pilalu. So, bye. So, it is a small activity for creating the interest in our children. We know that pre reading activity is more important while walking through the reading, main reading part. So, which is the face sheet given in the unit? Here is an invitation. And some children belonging to the MPP school, Kottapalli, they are inviting the show. So, so I choose this activity uh, for, a, uh, for creating interest. So we will ask some more questions by using this face sheet. So known to unknown. First of all, general specific picture picture. So before that, uh, let we'll ask these textual questions like what is the invitation about who are inviting us for the show and where will be the show conducted and mention the show timings and what is the name of the show and also we ask some more questions what are the characters in it do you heard about Tenali Rama here the picture of Tenali Rama and what are the other characters in the picture here is some more characters like thieves they, they would say so what are they doing they drew water from the well. So, so these kind of uh, uh, questions we will ask in this pre-reading activity. So the importance of pre-reading activity is much more and which is very crucial for the reading part. So here what we have to do is, so we are trying to list some new words related to the main text in the advance. And also which is more effective while we conduct this activity either in peers or in groups. And also it provides the possibility and interaction and also into the frequency while speaking. And uh, it builds up the confidence of some children. They might not be willing to speak aloud. So the activity teacher So coming to the main presentation of the main presentation, so micro strategies for reading. So before we begin, we need to know the important one. While uh, we entering into the class and we ask our children to read the text or similarly, we ask our children to read aloud the text without having any interactions or without, uh, having, without asking any question and answers. There is no use because of three reasons. We know that uh, the reading is a skill. So we need to promote silent reading in our classrooms. So the second reason, when we ask some children to read aloud the text without any understanding or what they are uh, reading without knowing. So they would feel bad in front of their peers. And coming to the third reason, so without understanding the text with a, by, by loud, loud reading is no use. So how do we teach reading? So we have to practice the steps in the following second language. So here some micro strategies for reading. So before going into the main text, so first we need to ask some questions related to the pictures. There is one story chapter of Pru, Pillal Manakante Munda Kuruna pictures and Niki Baga Chadri, Walkonta Augahan Ches Kuntar, the Nedwalk story Nedkonta Augahan. 
తెలియని ప్రశ్నలకి పిక్చర్ బేస్డ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడుగుతూ సో ఒక ఇంట్రెస్ట్ క్రియేట్ చేశాక అప్పుడు మనము రీడింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ లోకి వెళ్ళడం అనేది బెటర్ సో సమ్ ఆర్ సమ్ ఆర్ ద పిక్చర్స్ ఆఫ్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద టెక్స్ట్ బుక్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ద స్టోరీ వి విల్ ఆస్క్ సమ్ జనరల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ నోన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ లైక్ డూ యూ లైక్ స్టోరీస్ అండ్ హూ టెల్ స్టోరీస్ ఇన్ యువర్ హౌస్ అండ్ నేమ్ సమ్ ఫేమస్ స్టోరీస్ దట్ యూ లైక్ అండ్ వాట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ స్టోరీస్ దట్ యూ లైక్ వి విల్ ఆస్క్ సమ్ జనరల్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫర్ Uh, making our children to speak uh, in the interactive manner so next later we'll shift to the whole class interaction by asking the questions related to the pictures like what do you see in the picture who is tenalirama so because while the pre reading activity lo mana effective ga chesina appudu vallu chaala matuku story ni ardham chesukogalugutaru untundi so vallaki ఈ మెయిన్ రీడింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ లోకి వెళ్ళేటప్పుడు ఈ న్యూ వొకాబులరీని రికాల్ చేసినట్టుగా కొన్ని ప్రశ్నలు అడుగుతూ పిక్చర్స్ బేస్డ్ రీడింగ్ వాళ్ళకి ఉంటుంది కాబట్టి సో కొంత వాళ్ళని ఆ పిక్చర్స్ ని ఉపయోగించి కొన్ని ప్రశ్నలు అడిగాక అప్పుడు మెయిన్ రీడింగ్ ప్రాసెస్ లోకి వెళ్ళడం విచ్ ఇస్ బెటర్ సో హియర్ ఈస్ ద స్టెప్ వన్ సో వీ ఆస్క్ అవర్ చిల్డ్రన్ టు రీడ్ ద టెక్స్ట్ సైలెంట్లీ అండ్ అండర్లైన్ ద న్యూ వర్డ్స్ సో వీ విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ ఎ ప్యాసేజ్ టు ఆర్ పారాగ్రాఫ్ టు దెమ్ and uh, we will ask our children to read the text in a silent manner and ask them to underline the new words this is the first very first step in the process so we'll give a passage this is a part of main story so coming to the second step which is more and more important so children usually sit into the groups or with their peers and వాళ్ళకి పిల్లలతో కలిసి నేర్చుకోవడం అనేది చాలా ఇంట్రెస్ట్ కాబట్టి సో ద సెకండ్ స్టెప్ ఈస్ కొలాబరేటివ్ రీడింగ్ సో హియర్ వీ ఎంకరేజ్ అవర్ చిల్డ్రన్ టు డిస్కస్ విత్ దేర్ పార్ట్నర్స్ ఎదర్ ఇన్ పీర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ స్మాల్ గ్రూప్స్ సో విల్ ప్రొవైడ్ ఎ క్లాస్ వైడ్ డిస్కషన్ ద వీకర్ పీపుల్ విల్ గెయిన్ ద కాన్ఫిడెన్స్ సో హియర్ టీచర్ రోల్ ఈస్ టు వాక్ అరౌండ్ ద క్లాస్ అండ్ ఫెసిలిటేట్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ఫర్ పెర్ఫార్మింగ్ ద టాస్క్ so here teacher role is only watching the students so they will come up with some new words they underline some new words they will find some new words or keywords or new vocabulary related to the main text so coming to the so here scaffold reading is very important it is very teacher role is very crucial here so manak tells so scaffold means pillaki talli nadakal nerchukunadappudu cheya icche cheya sahayam ichi e vidhanga munduku teeskelthundo so akkada teacher paatra kuda ade so teacher scaffold the students for better learning and for knowing the vocabulary so what their actual level and to bring the students into their potential level ikkada picture chusinatlayite so middle vallu what they can do so coming to the second circle what they can do with help and coming to the external circle what they cannot do so here teacher patra entante so vaalla unna sthayi nunchi tarvata sthayi ki teeskelaniki teacher ikkada scaffold a support ivvali so which is the essence of the scaffold reading which is very much important and very crucial in the reading process and here teacher need to use some models or activities or flash cards or whatever the teaching learning material or visuals or any examples or any real we use these kind of we incorporate these kind of activities here and coming to the uh, before going to the fourth step so teacher write the new words on the blackboard so coming to the step 4 reading allowed by the teacher that means model reading by the teacher we know that so teacher reads the text aloud with proper pause and intonation while the whole class follows silently so ikkada teacher proper pause and intonation istho pillalu danni follow avutnara leda ani cheppi oka eye contact tot pillalu cheyithe chadivinchadam anedi important so coming to the step 5 reading aloud by the students with the guidance of the teacher or with the guidance of some peers so we make our children to read the text aloud pause and intonation 
and once they have completed their discussion. So we need to remember that reading allowed by the learner, which is not the first step, which is the fifth step. So consistently we follow this micro process of teaching reading process. We'll definitely get the good results from our children. So manaki second language, English language, English language language manam pillal ke chappala na kuntu na pru. So work a systematic standard of operating system and SOP procedure. Manaki work a methodological ga manaki inbuilt day mandal. So this is the right process. Otherwise, when we process and follow and approve, when we have the customer, na, have the model students, na, have the attractive models that we learn, when we fill up, why not? So while lunch, when we share, na, output and teach, go learn. So these are the five steps. Uh, before going into the activities, I would like to play a video just for you, for your understanding only, not the students. So this is the overall uh, story. So please play the video, Ismail, sir. Yes. I think, I uh, hope uh, okay, sir. video is visible to you, okay? This is the story yes, of sir. Tenali Rama and the Thieves. Class 3, Unit 1, Subject English. Tenali Rama was a very famous for his wit and sense of humor. He was a court poet in the court of King Sri Krishna Devaraya in the kingdom of Vijayanagaram. Tenali Rama had a huge mango garden in his backyard. Tenali Rama had to draw water from a well to water the trees. One evening, while watering his garden, Tenali Rama saw two thieves hiding in the bushes near his house. Quickly, he got an idea. Tenali Rama went to his house. He shouted loudly to his wife Sarada. I heard that a gang of thieves have entered the city. So, we will keep all our valuable things in this box and drop it into the well. It will be safe there. The thieves heard the conversation and became very happy. They waited patiently for Tenali Rama and his wife to put the box into the well. Tenali Rama and his wife packed the box with stones. They lifted the heavy box with great difficulty and dropped it into the well. Then the couple entered the house and slept. After some time, the thieves rushed to the well. Throughout the night, water from the well to get the treasure box out. Finally, they got the box. They were extremely shocked and angry to see just stones in it. They understood that it was Tenali Rama's plan to make them fools. Then Tenali Rama came to the thieves and said, Thank you friends for watering my plants all through the night. I want to reward both of you in the king's palace for the services you have rendered to me. The thieves got scared and ran away from there. So here I came up with some activities related to the main text. Hope you enjoyed the story. That is the actual story given textbook. So line to line. So I prepared the video for uh, understanding the story for the teachers. So here a small activity using the flashcards. Uh, just for example, I choose only four new words to demonstrate you. So here the new words are famous, hues, poet, kingdom. So we use the words like this. Here the back side of the flashcards. So for example, manamu simple ga low cost material to chegalge ka chinna activity. Manami flashcards ni upe again chirapur kutinch calls na certain points we need to keep in our mind. They are we need we need to choose a space for recording uh, the distractions. And we need to maintain some distance from the teacher and the student at least 40 to 80 centimeters. These two points we need to keep in our mind while using these flashcards and also the pace. 
చూపించేటప్పుడు వాళ్ళకి ఇంట్రెస్ట్ క్రియేట్ చేసే వ్యక్తిగా సో ఒకే ఒకే ప్రాపర్ స్పీడ్ మెయింటైన్ చేస్తూ చూపించాలి అదర్వైజ్ ద యాక్టివిటీ విల్ గెట్ బోరింగ్ సో ఇక్కడ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ కొన్ని ఫ్లాష్ కార్డ్స్ తీసుకున్నాను నేను సో ఫస్ట్ మనం పిక్చర్ చూపిస్తాం పిల్లలకి వాట్ ఈస్ ద పిక్చర్ దే వుడ్ సే హీ సచిన్ టెండూల్కర్ సో సీ ద అనదర్ పిక్చర్ మీకోవచ్చు is ravindranath tagore he wrote janaganamana right so we'll see the end of the picture they would say it is a palace we will conclude that it is a kingdom so what is this animal this is an elephant so mere appudena elephant ni chusara ad ela untundi chala pedda ga untundi right so which is an elephant now ila mana oka rendu mood saarlu reputation istho pillalaki pictures chupinchaka they would acquainted with the familiarize with the pictures so later step 2 manamu ide padathilo words ni chupistam what is this word famous what is this word famous what is this picture sachin tendulkar so we will we'll show the another picture so what is this word huge and what is this picture elephant repeatedly manamu picture and word simultaneously ga chupistam this is step 2 adhi ma'am try to conclude early first next step lo yes ma'am yes sir so third step vachi manam sachin tendulkar is a famous writer so ga manam cheptam general to specific tenali rama is a famous for his wit and sense of humor okay which is huge so elephant is a huge animal it's a general it is for general understanding so we'll provide the uh, related the statement sentence related to the main text tenali rama has a huge garden in his backyard so ila general to specific ee cards ni vaadi manam chaala activities ni cheyinchu so vitni manam upayoginchi board mel stick chesi one by one hide chestho pillalni chadivistho unte adi oka recall activity la untundi so this is one of the activity and coming to the other one which is role play మనము రోల్ ప్లే చేసేటప్పుడు మనకు తెలుసు పిల్లల్ని మాస్కులు పెట్టి కూడా చేయించవచ్చు అదర్వైజ్ హియర్ టూ క్యారెక్టర్స్ కేమ్ హియర్ టూ వన్ ఈజ్ తెనాలి రామ్మ అండ్ అదర్ ఈజ్ శారదా సో హియర్ తెనాలి రామ్మ సే శారదా వేర్ ఆర్ యూ కమ్ ఫాస్ట్ కమింగ్ వై ఆర్ యూ షోడి ఇస్ దేర్ ఇన్ యువర్ బ్యాక్ యూర్ బిహైండ్ ద బుషెస్ డిడ్ యూ అబ్జర్వ్ Oh my god what to do now i think they are thieves i got an idea what is that so voice mode koncham exciting ga cheptu so i'll speak in a bigger voice you just say whatever i speak okay serda some thieves are roaming around our city so we will keep all our jewelry in this trunk and drop it in our well can we okay as you say serda hold it tight Ha, ha finally now we can sleep peacefully so ilaga characters nu upayoginchi alage konni mask lo upayoginchi kuda manam ila activity cheyinchachu so this is the role play and coming to the third activity gap fillings so we use the sentences given in the main text so we use uh, these kind of gap filling and true or false activities for assessing our students uh, assessing the learning of our students and coming to the fourth one narration which is more and more important to end the session because chivarlo manam summarize chesi cheppakapothe oka oka car lo nu lakapothe manam ekkada oka travel chestunnappudu oka sari manam intiki reach avvandane la jerkichi oka sari sudden break tho aapthe ela untundo adhe vidhanga manam story ni brief cheyakunda end cheyadam kuda adhe adhe meaning vastundi so ikkada story cards anedi manaku chaala baaga upayogisthayi so mana ee story cards ni we need to ask them to keep in a order or we will provide some simple senten- sentences and uh, we write on the board so they will arrange uh, in the, they they will match to the pictures that is one of the activity and they will write simple senten- sentences for the narration so end of the uh, by using these flash cards or story cards we will prepare a narration simple narration by using these pictures so we are trying to summarize the story and these kind of reputation activities will more and more important for our students 
especially for learning a new language like english and and for the skill like reading thank you all uh, for your participation hope you enjoyed this session and we'll provide this glossary at the end i think uh, hope this uh, session will be benefited to you so we'll meet you in the next session until stay home stay safe have a nice day thank you very much uh, madhavi garu thank you ma'am thank you sir. sorry for the inconvenience yeah. for the network and all <laughs> yes uh, shobha ma'am so i think uh, that was an excellent presentation yes sir yes please ma'am go ahead i think that was an excellent presentation you, and uh, you know the way that uh, uh, madhavi garu was trying and explaining the importance of uh, step folding interactive reading collaborative reading now these might be some words that you haven't heard before or you might be thinking that you know these are all very new words very big words what do they mean don't worry all these words are already yes, there yes. in our uh, you know we are trying to do all this uh, already so it should not be a problem at all and uh, you also saw how we can use very low cost uh, tlm in order to uh, deliver the lesson interestingly most importantly repetition of words now when she said uh, uh, beddaga undi then we know now i know that big means beddaka right like this our children also will be learning whenever we are repeating the words uh, so that would be the end of the session uh, now we are ready to take questions ishmael sir yeah ma'am sure ma'am thank you uh, thanks for a nice presentation both of you ma'am excellent uh, presentation you, very impressive also uh, suchata kintali she is asking that very basic question most of our students feel that english is very difficult and unknown to them uh, so how can we remove such uh, a mind block or uh, opinion from them okay that's a very good question now say for example many of our children you know they play so many games some of our children they also learn swimming and all these things to other children it will look very frightful right when you are trying to learn a cycle i am going back to the example that i used first when you are trying to cycle the child who is going to learn cycling will be very scared now this also happened to me but so many of them will be you know using the cycle very effortlessly they will be doing all balancing tricks in the cycle when i'm going to school but i thought if my father is buying a cycle for me how will i uh, use the cycle right that is the same mind block that children have with proper exposure and practice now imagine only for the initial days it was our parents or our brothers and sisters or our friends who was catching the cycle at the back and running along with us they are not running with us all our life only those initial days they were doing and most of the times when we told them no no i am very scared i will fall down uh, people will look and laugh at me what did our parents or our friends say they would have said you are an idiot why are you scared once you learn it it is very easy and now when i am trying to cycle you know i forget that i am actually using the cycle i am focusing on who is coming and you know whether i have taken everything i don't think about whether i am sitting the seat properly pedaling english is also like that so that initial mind block you give them lot of other videos showing where other children are speaking in english uh, showing you know how people are making then learning english great leaders we have so many examples like that you know our uh, former president abdul kalam so many uh, inspiring speeches are there you can show how he is also coming from a small village he is also going to the school learning the young kalam book there is a very interesting book called young kalam so when you read the book you understand how abdul kalam ji also had all these difficulties but then he became the president so we have to inspire our children and initial hand holding if we do i think uh, they will shine excellently so sujata garu please don't worry thank you very much ma'am uh, why they he p why they he garu is uh, she is uh, asking that is there any simple technique to learn synonyms and antonyms for new words uh, please suggest definitely so when it comes to synonyms and antonyms usually in an english book 
just like madhavi garu showed we are highlighting so many words in a book only so many words only will be given but as teachers what we can do is we can create lot of group activity in group activity we can tell the children okay this are you know 10 word list or five words you are going to find the opposite now we think that when we are giving a group activity our job is done we can sit and relax that should not be the case we know that the activity is a little bit difficult for the children but we should walk around and in every group there will be one enthusiastic child who wants to learn or who will explore so when you are creating a word chart or a word wall and putting all the words on the wall and you are telling them okay the opposite is in this wall you can find out then all the children will discuss and they will find so the teacher is supposed to go around the classroom monitoring the groups and helping the groups find the answer and then when the groups are coming and presenting so for these 10 words this is the opposite word so there will be so much of pride in them as though they have found and learned tell that the whole class will also mm. learn as a group so whatever we are doing if we are trying to scaffold if we are trying to encourage interactive reading i think it will be very helpful thank you vaidegi garu for that question thank you very much ma'am for nice answer also reshma parveen she is asking that uh, where should we pronounce the and where we should pronounce it as the for th okay how to okay. pronounce while reading the lesson that's a good question uh, thank you reshma garu for that question now usually if you see the and the they say that when you are following it by a vowel sound right when you are following it by a vowel sound you can use it the but usually you know uh, generally the is the uh, accepted kind of uh, pronunciation uh-huh. there are other variants where we use the the can be generally used or if you want to use the when there is a vowel sound that is in the following word you can use that uh, word like the elephant uh, the orange something like that if you are using the you can say the palace the king when there is a consonant sound i hope that clarifies oh fantastic ma'am thank you very much i was also <laughs> little confused with that uh, pushparas uh, gitlori is asking that most of the teacher training institutions giving theoretical knowledge instead more practical knowledge ma'am isn't it it affecting the present teachers classroom transaction please react as eminent educationalist okay so i am surprised that he is considering me as a very eminent educationalist <laughs> because i consider myself as a learner every day we are learning uh, so much now all these theories are generated from classroom practices what is a theory a theory is nothing but a practice that is generally accepted and is very practical for the classrooms uh, i think it was last night dr monishita and myself we were having a conversation about how the teachers are creating so much knowledge in the classroom and there is this whole theoretical knowledge which they are trying you know to juxtapose to see how both are working so don't worry the theoretical knowledge is something very far but then as teachers we should also know the theoretical knowledge now say for example if your cycle is you know repair if there is some problem in the cycle you should know the name of the part you should say that okay in the chain there is some problem sir i have to put some grease now if you are going to uh, say madam i know how to write the cycle why should i know the words chain uh, grease all these words why should i know but if you go to the shop you have to use those words right that is similarly you know to the way that we learn all these terms when as teachers when we are talking when we will use the words interactive reading scaffolding of course we don't use these words in our classroom with our children but to show that we also know how important it is you know the parts of the knowledge system how it op- operates how pedagogy is done how teaching and learning is done 
it is very important now tpr total physical response all of us do it in the classroom but when we read it as the tpr theory we also get to know how well it can be done throughout the world how it is done how can we use the best practices that is why there should be a balance of theoretical and practical knowledge thank you so much ma'am my... yes uh, another question from him only in the classroom transactions we use pictorial verbal and classroom situations ma'am which yes. are the most effective in english language teaching there is no one single way it has to be eclectic what is eclectic eclectic refers to a wise choice of the best practices now like i told you we should know all the best practices but we should choose whatever is important for us now we all go to supermarkets uh, more than going to local small shops we love going to supermarkets because we want to see the variety and the choice right even if i am going to buy one match box i want to see what are all the other brands available what are the other facilities in other match boxes only then i will choose right now if you want to buy a mobile phone there are so many models new models coming but when i want to buy what will i do i will check are these useful to a teacher what do i need because i am not going to play games or i am not going to watch too much of movies so i am not going to focus on that aspect i will see whether i can download some useful apps use it for uh, conferencing so i will be looking at all those aspects that is exactly why we should know all the aspects and we should choose so there is no correct answer to your question sir pictures are important classroom context is important you have to use everything so that you can give the maximum language input to the children thank you very much ma'am uh, the last question gs money she is asking that students in a classroom are very uh, different at different level so they won't uh, participate equally in all the activities so generally poor people uh, could not perform nicely so what to do in such uh, conditions okay that's an interesting question now when we say that all students do not participate equally that is accepted even in a family if you see we are all very different people some of us are very you know talkative we give so many ideas we keep suggesting things but there are others in the family also but you know very well that they are also observing all the ideas they are also contributing in a different way right so dealing a heterogeneous classroom can be challenging but in india our strength is diversity we know the strength of every person so we should be able to use their strengths in a very wise manner as teachers i think we should not put too much pressure on a child to speak but we should know that the child is observing now many of you as teachers you would have observed this phenomenon after 5 years or 6 years when you meet your own students they will be totally different you will be telling them but this fellow in my class will not open the mouth now he is becoming a teacher you know some of us would have told ourselves you know sometimes my teachers used to tell me you won't speak in the class now see you are not closing your mouth so they will change but let us keep giving the input for them don't worry about uh, you know that they are not participating or they are poor okay yes thank you sir thank you so much ma'am for a fantastic answer uh, thank you madhavi garu yes. for your nice uh, pre presentation also so with this uh, really uh, i hope uh, all the teachers of ip they are making use of this knowledge what you are sharing with us on behalf of them i sincerely convey our uh, gratitude to both of you ma'am thank you very much thank you, and uh, thank you. Uh, for tomorrow there is a very interesting topic on day 17th assessing speaking dr ravinarayan elt uh, expert from rai bangalore will join tomorrow and will wait for the topic till that uh, we'll uh, signing out today and uh, we'll uh, Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow so dear viewers uh, i request you to like the video as well as please uh, at the bottom of uh, your window you can see subscribe if, if please uh, press that subscribe and notification button you will get notification for daily so easily you can join with us so thank you one and all thank you ma'am namaste thank you thank you sir